Hey you guys, it's Kimmy with Coast Wide Bar here without Barbara Joy. <sighs> she had to have some family time. We support that, but we don't like it. So I thought I would jump on live real fast. I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to show you guys how to make what I call a man bow. And the reason why I call it a man bow is because we use zip ties. There's no fancy, you know, flipping and bowing and all that kind of stuff because I don't know how to do that. Sorry, I'm going to move that camera just a little bit so you can see. Oh, sorry. That'll wake you up. Um, so, Barbara Joy is on. Okay. So, I'm jumping on to teach you guys how to make a bow. One, we had a request. So I got a message that said, tell me how you make those bows in the shop that we used to make. So I'm gonna, I'm coming on to do that. But here's the other thing. We have a special deal to try to give you guys a special on some fall ribbon. And I wanted to give you the special before fall's over because I don't need you getting it on the clearance rack later. Get it now and use it. So we've made up these uh, thanks to Abby, our new intern. She made up these uh, kits. Uh, they're three for five dollars. They're the best deal ever. Uh, basically, I'm almost giving them to you at cost. And the goal is I had bought a whole bunch of this stuff before the pandemic. And then we had a pandemic. So I want to pass on the deal to you guys so that uh, I don't have to sit on a bunch of inventory and you guys can use them now in the fall. So I'm going to teach you how to make a bow with these. Uh, they're randomly stuck together. These are two good examples of color palettes that come together um, and will look good together. You can use them separately. You can use them to wrap presents. They'd be super cute to wrap presents. Uh, some of them have just some normal plaids. Some of them have solids and some of them have uh, print. Okay. So I'm using um, some that I already had so I didn't have to uh, open up another one and what you're going to do is you're going to open it up and the key thing to note about these uh, wire ribbons is they have wire in them will the workshop be opening soon Jennifer I hope so uh, we're doing private parties right now so if you've got eight folks and you want to do something even if it's not a pumpkin pour and you just want to come up with your own thing we're here to help you do that and we'll absolutely come in and support you doing that uh, we've tried to do some open workshops and uh they haven't just they haven't gone over well so i it's a weird place to be right now so we're trying to do things that we know work uh, my goal is november jennifer that we will be starting to open up so you guys can start to make holiday gifts and holiday decor that sort of thing uh, we've got a couple of special classes planned and then we want to open up our regular diy um, yes you can order the ribbon online it's ready Hallelujah. We're getting, we're getting better at this stuff. The, the thing of it is it's a random selection. Uh, we will grab some, but if you want to uh, just come on in and grab your own choice, you can do that as well. If you come in and you want to swap choice, you can do that too. Okay. First thing you're going to do, absolutely, Jennifer, is I like to make, uh, I'm going to start with an 18-inch length. And what I'm going to do today is make just a basic bow and nothing too fancy, but it is the one that we do in here. Now, these are all one and a half inches wide. I do like to do these bows with different width ribbons, and I think that looks amazing when you have different width ribbons. Uh, definitely, they... You know, we've tried to do some with the ones that don't have wire. And if you do it perfectly, you can line things up right and it looks okay. But i got to be honest with you. I, I'm not the best bow maker. So I really need it to be easy and the wire makes it easy. So that's my tip to you. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting some lengths and I don't want them to be even. I think I'm going to do, what have I got? I've got three of the plaid, I've got two of the solid orange, and I'm gonna do, I think, uh, three of the sheer gold. I'm watching the door because I'm in here by myself, but it's quiet. This We were so busy earlier, that generally when we're busy early, and we were slammed, uh, 
it tends to die down for the rest of the day. So if I run away and I say bye really fast, it's because somebody's in here. Okay, so what I've done, I've got two of the golds, two of the orange, and three of the plaid. You can do any combination you want. My suggestion is an odd number in total, okay? I think it makes it better. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to use the plaid. Uh, maybe I'll use the orange so it's not so overwhelming. I want you to think about your ribbon in three sections, six, six, and six, right? I want you to put your, let's see, I'm going to do one that's, this one's a little folded, so I'm going to put it at the top. I'm going to put my hand at about six inches, and then I'm going to fold this into it. So basically what you've got is one-third, one-third, and one-third. So two-thirds in the loop and one-third in the tail, okay? And then you're going to take it and you're going to squeeze it together. Just like that, okay? Then get a different color. Do the same thing. They don't have to be perfectly a third. Don't feel like you gotta measure it. If you know anything about me, the second you really have to measure, you notice even when I did 18 inches, I was fast. And then you're gonna do the same thing, squish it, and then I want you to put them together. And when you're putting these together, I want you to think about each one of these little ribbon bundles as a flower. And your brain will, it'll be easier on your brain. You're going to make another one and put it together. And notice how I'm changing the direction of the loop each time. I'm going to go back and get a plaid. The more you do of these, obviously your hands start to get a little bit tangled. I've got the good old carpet tunnel, so if I can do it, you can do it. And you just keep going till you get all of your ribbons on and you put them in your bundle, in your bouquet of ribbon, in a way that is pleasing to your eye. So I'm gonna bring this one around here. And then the last plaid. Okay, and I'm gonna, when I look at this, I'm gonna put the plaid over here. So see how I've kind of tried to keep them all a little bit apart and have it all gathered up right here like a bouquet. Make sure they're about even-ish. Then you need a zip tie. You're welcome. Man bow. This is why it's a man bow. You're going to zip tie this puppy. I don't recommend gray, but it's all I've got. You really won't see it. If you can get some of those floral color ones or brown. And then all you're gonna do is put the zip tie on and zip it. Pull it really tight. So now you've got a bouquet. You're gonna trim off this little bit here. All right, so now you've got this weird looking thing, right? You ready for the magic? You're gonna grab your colors on the bottom, try to get them evenly separated. And because you've got an odd number, you're gonna have more on one side, but that's okay. You're gonna go in like this. You're gonna pull them out. And now you have a ribbon, you have a bow. And then all you have to do at this point is you can putz with this part because it's wired. You can make them go in any direction that you want. And then you can bend these down a little bit if you prefer that look. Right, there you go. And then all you're gonna do is trim the ends. Now, we're using, we have like, we use these scissors for everything. We talk about it when we do fabric that we can't cut it because we've been doing things like this. But you're just gonna trim them. You could do like a, um, I'm doing them just on an angle, but you could do it like a, a double point, fold it in half, and then cut down. And then you don't have to cut the ribbon, I mean the wire so much. But all you're gonna do is trim them up, make them look pretty. Ruin your scissors. And then one thing you can do, so we do this a lot for our door hangers. We like to put them on like this. One thing is, obviously you can take off the zip tie and be, you know, reuse all this stuff. 
But the other thing you can do before you zip it tied, you can take a second zip tie, slip it into there, and then you can use that zip tie to like staple it down on a door hanger, to tie it to something else. There you go. Bow. Done. Your presents are going to look amazing this year. Welcome. Look how much that I still have left. And these are used pieces. So you could like make, these would be really fun to make a ton of these and put them in trees, put them down your banister. Just a whole boatload of bows down your banister would be gorgeous. Stick a bow on everything. Stick them on your pumpkins. I think they'd be precious. All right. Fastest live ever. Uh, we have our ribbon trios, three for five, super, super deal, you guys. So, and we have, I think there's like 27 sets is all we have. And that's, that's literally all we have. So once they're there, we can't make any more. Okay. That's it. Have fun. I'm going to go. It's Friday for us. I know it's Sunday for you and tomorrow's Monday, but tomorrow's my Saturday. So we are here till six tonight. Uh, we've had a lot of pickups. If you've got... If you're joining our Wednesday truck, um, I have two deliveries that have already asked for deliveries, uh, but I've got, I'm seeing three trucks in, three or four trucks in here. Um, so hurry on down, we're here till six. If you need to add delivery because you couldn't get it today, message me and I'll bring it to you tomorrow. All right, you guys, everybody take care. Bye.